iSCSI LUNs are a useful option for expanding the storage capacity for your servers and devices by taking an allotted amount of storage from your NAS and making it available on those connecting devices as if the NAS storage was local storage. The LUN is essentially a volume on the storage pool dedicated for this type of storage sharing and is connected via the iSCSI protocol, which is a protocol that runs over a TCP connection. iSCSI LUNs are often used by businesses as an affordable storage option for virtual machine servers or as a part of a clustered SAN. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to create an iSCSI LUN. Start by opening the iSCSI and Fiber Channel app. With the iSCSI tab on the left side selected, click the Create button and select New Block-Based LUN from the drop-down menu to create a block-based LUN. This will open the block-based LUN creation wizard. Block-based LUNs are created directly on top of the storage pool, allocating storage for the LUN from that pool, whereas file-based LUNs are created on thick or static volumes. So in a situation where you don't have any storage pool space available, you could opt to create a file-based LUN, but block-based LUNs provide better performance. On the first page of the wizard, you'll choose which storage pool you will be allocating the LUN storage from, as well as whether you would like to use thick instant allocation for the LUN or thin provisioning for the LUN. Thick provisioning pre-allocates storage from the storage pool for the LUN so that it is already reserved for data to be written to, whereas with thin provisioned LUNs, the storage space will only be allocated from the storage pool as the data is written. Practically speaking, the thick provisioned LUNs will have faster performance, but the thin provisioned LUNs may be more flexible in that the storage you would use for this LUN is still available for use in the storage pool until the storage space is written to. Make your selection and click Next. This will take you to the configure page of the wizard, and this is where you will name the LUN as well as set its capacity. Under the capacity, you will see the maximum amount of storage space available to use left in your storage pool. Now, if you have chosen to create a thick provisioned LUN as I have, you may notice that it won't let you allocate more capacity for the LUN than is available in the storage pool, which of course makes sense because the available space simply isn't there. But if you're creating a thin provisioned LUN, you actually can choose to make this LUN larger than the available capacity. But that doesn't mean that all of that capacity will actually be available. It is simply a cap on the amount of storage the LUN will let you write to from the storage pool. But obviously, if the storage space isn't available, you won't be able to write on it. And since data is only allocated from the storage pool as you write to it when using a thin provisioned LUN, you will need to keep a closer eye on the storage of the storage pool to ensure that you have the space available for the LUN. Once you have named the LUN and allocated the storage space for this LUN, click Next. This will bring you to the summary page. If everything is to your liking, click Finish. Now we have created a LUN, but to access the storage of the LUN, we need an iSCSI target for our client's iSCSI initiator to connect to. To create this target, click the Create drop-down menu again and select New iSCSI Target. On the first page, you'll see a paragraph giving introductory information about what an iSCSI target is. You may read it if you like. When you're ready, click Next. Here you will set the iSCSI qualified name as well as its alias so that you can easily identify the target. Additionally, under advanced settings, there are boxes that you can check as checksum options to protect against data corruption. On the next page, you have the option to create password protection using a chat password so that any initiator trying to connect to the LUN will need the password. The password must contain 12 to 16 characters without spaces and include only letters and numbers. When ready, click Next. Once again, you'll see a summary page. If everything is to your liking, click Apply. Creating an iSCSI target will prompt an iSCSI LUN wizard to open, but since we've already created the LUN, I'll just close this out. Now, to map the target to the LUN, select the LUN that you want to use and click the action button. Now select Edit LUN Mapping from the drop-down menu. 
This will open a LUN mapping window. Simply select Map to iSCSI target, select the target that you want to map, and click OK. As you can see, the LUN is now mapped to the target. This means that if an iSCSI initiator connects to that target, they will be accessing that LUN. If you're using a Mac to connect, you will need to use a third-party iSCSI initiator as no iSCSI initiator is included natively with the Mac OS. However, Windows actually does have an iSCSI initiator included natively. To use it, simply search iSCSI initiator in the Windows search bar and open the iSCSI initiator app. Select your target and click connect. If you created a password, click advanced to input the password Input the name and password that you created for the target. And click OK. Now click OK again. You have now connected to the iSCSI LUN. iSCSI LUNs are a useful way to allocate storage to other servers or computers. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS.